What's up everyone, V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars The Black series, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi from... Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, this is Kenobi as he appears in a Kenobi, you know, the show about Kenobi, if you uh, had no idea. Uh, yeah, Kenobi, a show which is kind of heated. People either passionately love it or hate it. I think it's way too overheated. I love that show. Story-wise... I love it. Ewan McGregor was great. Vader was great. Everyone, everything. I loved all of it. My main gripes is just cinematography because I'm one of those guys. I just don't think it was shot the best. Way too much handheld shaky cam, which is way more cinematic like Ahsoka and Andor. But besides that, I think it's a great show. I've rewatched it and loved every second of it. Although it was kind of hard to enjoy a lot of it when it first aired when you had people everywhere being like this show is trash and you know what screw you i don't care i like kenobi i thought it was great and we need more hayden christensen and ewan mcgregor together please just make a clone wars movie already spoiler alert for ahsoka because i might drop spoilers but they proved they could do it in there so they could do it here but yeah this is um kenobi as he appears in his jabim i think that's how you say it look which is the episode he has in the second half of the show. You know, not the uh, dirty, poor look that he had in the first three episodes, but not like the uh, full, shining, holy Jedi that we know from the prequel trilogy. And I do like how they kind of, like, evolve his suits, because at first he's wearing, like, that blue suit. We're like, who's this? This isn't Kenobi. But then as he goes on the journey, he gets the lightsaber. He gets more of a Jedi look, but it's still not there yet. And then... Halfway through the show, he dons this, which is normal Jedi robes, but they're a lot more darker, a lot more muted, showing how he's not fully there yet. But right once he vanquishes, I don't know, not vanquishes, he doesn't kill him, but like once he defeats Vader, we see him again and he returns in the classic Kenobi look with the brighter, whiter, like beige robes. And I like it. It shows how, like look wise, it shows how he progresses back into becoming a Jedi. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but if it was, it's really cool. And I wasn't originally going to buy this figure because they are making that brighter look with the goggles. And it's just this figure, but um, this color and with goggles, and I love that look. So I was going to buy that. But man, I saw this at the comic shop and I was like, it looks so good. And because I have a problem, I bought him, and oh my god, this is my favorite Kenobi figure I've ever owned. But uh, yeah, um, that's a that's a very large statement, not really, be I mean, there's a lot of Kenobi figures, but I only own three, so it's not like it's a lot, but still, this is a great figure. And I tried to get him in that pose, but I'll explain some of the few quirks that this guy has. But before we get into it, as always... That it, I was not expecting that noise to come out of the box, Jesus. What, what even was that? Dang. Anyway, um, this is the uh, windowless packaging, which they are bringing the windows back because I literally just got one that is part of the new window package again. But, as, but like I said before, this is the one line that did the windowless packaging perfectly. Got the nice shot of Kenobi. You know, it's kind of like slightly raised. It's an actual picture of the figure, I think, and not some horrific CGI. Well, actually, it might be a CGI render. I don't know. But at least it, it's a good posed shot. Star Wars The Black Series. Oh, Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Jabim. Hasbro. 4 Plus. Paid $30 for it, but my god, it was actually worth the $40. $40? 30 Another shot of Kenobi, he is 5.9 inches tall. So does that mean Kenobi's 5'9"? Kind of small. Comes with a gun, lightsaber, plastic-free packaging. And then on the side, Lord have mercy, that's a phenomenal, phenomenal picture of Kenobi. Oh my god. Then up there you got, like, Vader and Kenobi fighting. God, I'm so tempted to just buy some figures. Like, if they... I think they did release a Grievous in this kind of packaging. I might buy that. I already have that Grievous figure, but... God, I love this packaging. I love this art so much. I have it displayed on my wall. Whenever I do a room tour, I'll show. I have, like, 
all of my Black Series boxes posed on a, on like shelves, and it looks so good. Obi-Wan Kenobi on the back, same but shot, but a fuller look. Number 11 in the Kenobi series. Obi-Wan Kenobi is set years after the dramatic events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, where Kenobi faced the corruption of his friend and Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker turned Sith Lord Darth Vader. They didn't tell you shit about the show. <laughs> they were just like, hey, remember Revenge of the Sith? The show takes place after that. Now let's talk about Revenge of the Sith for a minute. Which, I mean, when shouldn't we? That movie's amazing, and I'll say to this day is the best Star Wars movie ever made. Despite, despite the horrific cringe scenes. Like, I love Revenge of the Sith, but my god, that Anakin and Padme scene makes me want to die inside. But yeah, here is Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, I'm trying to do the accents again. Also, fun fact, because I have it here, because usually I have Black Series boxes holding up my thing, the older ones. Here is my first Kenobi packaging, so that just goes to show how much better this new packaging is. I hate these boxes with a passion. Good God, they're so bad. Bland and boring. I think I would got these. Anyway, comes with two, three... I'll say three accessories. One is the lightsaber, which I've crudely put in his hand. Not the best, um, but I'll explain why it's kind of difficult to put in his hand. And uh, yeah, it looks great. This is a newer sculpt, I think, for the Kenobi figures, because I did get an older Kenobi figure, which I'll show off later. And yeah, they're different lightsabers, even though they're the... They're different sculpts, but the same lightsaber. But yeah. It looks really good. It's sculpted really well. Painted beautifully. Got the peg there. And the blade, which is transparent blue. And it comes out, of course. And my one complaint is that it kind of comes out a bit easily. Like, you can see how it's starting to bend. Or you didn't because it was out of focus. But, like, it kind of, like, doesn't stay in. It stays in, but, like, if you're like me and you play with action figures if you're going like bang 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 notice how it's already starting to bend and kind of come out this one's a lot sturdier but this is still a good lightsaber and if you I, i'll show what the lightsaber looks like on him after we talk about the robes the robes like i talk when i mention anything about soft goods at six inch scale i say that i hate them and this is a prime example why you might look at it and you might like it looks kind of off that's because it's inside out it's the only way you can get it looking good without the hood being a problem. And look, it's a little bunched up. But yeah, this is this is it inside out because you can't really get it sitting well. Let me just rip it off of him real quick because this is what it looks like. You know, it's the robe but without the arms, which is a cool look. But they definitely should have either done more sewing or not even bothered with the soft goods. I don't know, but like you get it up on here. And you can pop the hood up, and it it's not going up all the way. And it looks all right, like you can kind of get it looking decent with the hood up. But if you try to put the hood down, it just sticks back up, or just has this giant bump. And if you want it sitting up like that, you'll have that in the back. So that's why whenever I put it on, I uh, curl the hood up under and just put it on. But yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying, but eh. We're not, we don't care about the the cloak because this is the main event right here. And you can pop the blade off, and there's a peg hole right there. Just pop that in super easy, and it looks really good holstered on him, but we're not going to keep it on him. But yeah, how he holds the lightsaber, let's talk about that. Because yeah, this cloak, it's alright, but it's not the best. But like if you do it my way, where you, I'll just show you how to put it on like that real quick. You pop it on like that. Hopefully this goes well since we're on camera. Usually things go bad on camera. It's not perfect, but can you see how like it eliminates the hood just sticking up like that? I mean, it kind of sits all right. You do have like the stitching on the outside, but still, you know, this is how I've made it work. You could probably make it work better. Or there's probably someone out there who just sells premium versions of that cloak like they do with other Jedi robes and it's just miles better because they do better jobs than Hasbro because they put way more effort into them which I mean it's all right for like a six inch scale twenty dollar figure but yeah main problem with this figure and the lightsabers um his sculpt is phenomenal it looks exactly like how it does in the show except see this 
this goes under the hand on kind of both sides. So when you put the lightsaber in, guess what happens? It just oh, gets clunked right there, and you can kind of move it out the way, but the only way to get it in there, at least for this hand, is to like rotate it and kind of do that. And now it's looking perfect. Huh. I've had a problem with this so much, and second I do it on camera, it looks perfect. Uh, curse the camera. But still, it does get in the way, and it's kind of annoying. Because like, for like someone like this guy, they didn't put it under there. So we can hold the lightsaber just fine. But like, yeah, it looks, it makes them look super realistic and perfect right out the show. But it kind of makes, but it kind of makes it difficult for him to hold the uh, lightsaber. But ignoring the lightsaber, because he comes with other stuff. Because, you know, he wasn't always using that lightsaber in this show. Sometimes, you gotta be a little uncivilized. And when those times come, he's got a holster right here. He's got the Glock ready to fire and he has a little gun here and it is a nice silver paint if it would ever focus it's the best we're gonna get and he can just slide it in his hand like so probably didn't see that because half the i'm pretty sure half the stuff i ever record is just blurry but you know like i say these aren't the best reviews on youtube and you know he can just be like walking in and just pop 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 you know what i mean because you know the empire era was it was desperate times you know you can't be can't always be civilized is there a creature in my room it's terrifying love when you hear just random noises and of course you can just holster it holster it like so it does have a strap but like most straps it kind of doesn't fit the best but yeah and here is Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, I'm not the best with the Kenobi accent. Oh, if you saw the Maul video, I'm not the best with any accent. But yeah, this figure looks phenomenal. Look at this thing. This is like... It looks exactly like Kenobi just walked right off the screen. They did a phenomenal job with the sculpt here. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It looks like he's getting ready to T-pose onto Vader and just send a crap ton of rocks... Adam, and he, he's beating up a, he, he just keep he just, he really just does not let Anakin have a moment, does he? He's like, screw you, I'm gonna beat you up with rocks, and just leave you to struggle breathing back to your ship, because I don't care. But yeah, looking at this head sculpt, I th we need to talk about the head sculpt, because by god, that is perfect. I, I saw... The first Kenobi head sculpt. And I was like, the hell is this? It does not look that great. And I don't know. I'm assuming this is the same sculpt as like that first one from the show. But this looks so much better. And I think it has to do with the fact that the other one might have just been paint. But they added like... I don't know if it's like highlights or a wash through it. But there's like different colors like lighter brown, darker browns throughout the beard and the hair. It's not even in focus. That just makes it look so good. And I think this looks exactly like Ewan McGregor. It looks perfect. This is a perfect head sculpt. And I thought that Attack of the Clone ones when I got it was a perfect head sculpt. And now I'm like, dude, this this is phenomenal. This is a phenomenal head sculpt. Look at that. Look at that hair. You can see it's been a while since he's washed that hair. And it looks great. Then come down to... Now, this is just generic Jedi robes, but they're sculpted really well. Look at that. The sculpting is beautiful. Got some paint in there for the lighter robes. And actually, the arms are different sculpt. This one has a lot more wrinkles, but yeah. It's got a nice little texture throughout. Come down to his hands, you know. I mean, you never know. Sometimes Kenobi's just got to bare-knuckle box his way out of a situation, you know? He's simply built different. I wouldn't put it past him. Oh yeah, there's definitely a creature in my room. But yeah, then you come to his belt, and it's not the classic Kenobi belt. It's just some kind of sad belt. But you know, he's wearing another Jedi's robe, so you know. Ain't gonna be like his... But yeah, but they pin pinched? They uh painted... Whew, that was a rough one. 
All the little details on the belt really nice. Got that holster there. Come around. Got nice sculpt for all the uh, robes on the back. And down here. Actually, the upper body and this lower piece, as you can see, are all like rubbery pieces, which is nice because it kind of gets out of the way for articulation. Come down to the front. It's all nice sculpt. Then you, just, you can lift it up and just see he's wearing pants. It's just pants. Nothing too exciting. Come down to his boots. You got whatever around here sculpted and painted really well and his boots what type of shoes you think he's wearing the Tatooine 11s right there so yeah I think sculpt wise it's perfect like this is a perfect looking figure you might not be able to get him in too many dynamic poses because of hindrances but he he looks gorgeous just standing there and if you get him and Vader just standing there ready to face off against each other they look great Okay, I'm going to say, goodbye, Doth. I don't know why I whispered it. Goodbye, Doth. Way too much happiness in my voice. But yeah, articulation-wise, he's got a dumbbell joint at the head. He can look down that far, up that far, rotate, kind of bob. Not too much. It gets hindered by his luxurious Jesus hair. I feel like he really pulls off the Jesus look perfectly in this show. I mean, come on, look at that. But yeah, arms rotate, and yeah, they get really hindered, but you can get them out that far before, you know, ooh. I'd say this is a safe distance out. You can move them out that far. Single jointed elbow with rotation. Rotation at the hand, and I think both have an up and down. Yeah, they both have an up and down. You can move him that far forward. That far back rotates bobs can kick his legs actually pretty decently forward and not so far back i want to say it's because of his kenobi cake but it's just because of the robes sadly we do not we cannot see if kenobi's packing heat back there but i one can guess he is thigh rotation but there is a cut in between there so we can do the splits pretty well single jointed knee with rotation then up and down at the ankle, and a rocker. So he's pretty hindered. I would say there are Kenobi figures that are way more articulated, but still this Kenobi figure is really awesome, and I love it so much. Comparison time. Let's run through the normal ones like we do. Marvel Legends and uh, Transformers Voyager class scale. Here he is next to Moon Knight and Shockwave, and Kenobi's really small <laughs> jesus but i think it's because uh marvel legends are a tad bit bigger in the six inch scale and these are like i'd say more faithful to the six inch scale or oscar isaac's just way bigger than ewan mcgregor you never know and for a seven inch dc mcfarlane and a seven inch jazzwares halo here he is next to flash and master chief and for some star wars here he is next to my two previous reviews ahsoka tano and Formerly Darth, now just Mole. Yeah, still wasn't any better. And uh, yeah, they look great together, even though none of them ever appeared with each other in either of these looks. And because apparently, apparently it was a plot point that they cut that Cody was going to be in the show. And he was going to be like helping Kenobi out. But they axed that perfect idea for some reason. Here he is next to the old as hell, definitely 100% needs a new updated figure of Kenobi. Kenobi, Cody, who? Here he is next to Anakin and Darth Vader. They look great together. You can just see the insane duels they're about to go through. And it uh, looks, looks like both figures are taller, so... Looks like Anakin had the high ground all along. And finally, let's put him with his fellow brothers. Attack of the Clones, Kenobi, and Clone Wars, Kenobi. We'll probably review this guy. I've had this guy for years, so I have no urge to ever review him. All three are great figures, but this just nails the Kenobi likeness. And when they re-release... Not re-release them, but like release the uh, lighter robe version. That will probably be the greatest Kenobi figure ever made. You can recreate that scene from the uh, 
was that Lego Star Wars special where all three Kenobis just say hello there? So yeah, do I recommend this figure? Absolutely. If uh, the sentence uttering from my mouth, best Kenobi figure I own, wasn't enough, then uh, yeah, 100% get this. If you like the Kenobi show, or just like Kenobi in general, and want a cool, we're putting it in this hand, and just want a cool Kenobi figure, I highly, highly, highly recommend this figure. This figure's great. But if you don't care for the darker robes, I would say wait for the uh, look that he has at the end of the show. Because it's legitimately just this figure, but with brighter robes. And I'll probably be buying that and reviewing that figure too. So yeah. Love this figure, love Kenobi. Greatest Star Wars character of all time. One of the greatest fictional characters of all time. So that's about it. Like, subscribe, check out my previous reviews. Follow my Instagram, MoonNXO. Talk to me there. Get a little sneak peeks of upcoming reviews. And see my art and stuff. So yeah, got a lot. I've done a lot of Black Series. Don't worry, we'll get back to some more Marvel Legends. I got a lot more coming up. But next review will be Star Wars because I got a certain someone that I will be reviewing since the show's out. So yeah, that's about it. Have a wonderful day. May the force be with you, always. Still, nowhere near Ewan McGregor whatsoever. Not even the uh, Clone Wars actor. Guess I know what career I won't be going into in the future. <laughs>